I work at a pizza joint in Chicago, and I unfortunately have the shitty responsibility of delivering pizzas, usually on the weekends, and usually at night. I've asked my boss for day shifts, but she seems to ignore my requests and give me whatever shifts I don't want the most. I know being a pizza delivery man is somewhat of a dangerous job, but I never imagined anything like what happened to me a few months ago could actually happen. There is this one customer that always calls in and acts strange as hell on the phone. Sometimes he will just hang up on you. Sometimes he'll order pizzas normally, but make crazy sounds while he does, and then hang up. We've always thought this guy was just an idiot playing pranks. He would make really weird comments too, like, I want to order a large pizza with pineapples, mustard, and your skin. I'll never forget that one. We usually just hang up on his ass now, and we always know it's him calling because his number is saved in our system. So he called again a few months ago and ordered a pizza normally, no bullshit, no weird comments or sounds, and gave his address too. I thought it would be interesting to finally deliver to this guy, and when I drove up to his house, it was something you'd see in a scary movie. An old as hell looking place right on the line where we don't deliver, not in the busy part of the city where most of our orders come in. The house looked like it was about a hundred years old, and there were no lights on that I could see. I wasn't scared or anything, just looking forward to seeing what he looked like. When I went to the front door, I rang the bell but it wasn't working, so I knocked. I realized I forgot the guy's soda and thought he'd give me shit for sure, or just freak out on me. Nobody answered right away, so I knocked again on this big door. He opened up after that second time. He was wearing this weird looking mask around his mouth, only his mouth. His eyes were opened wide and I told him how much the pizza was and that I was sorry I forgot the drink. He looked down, I think, and then said, it's okay, and then looked at me again. I stood there looking at him for like five seconds in silence when I got bored of his shit and told him the amount again. He said okay, and then asked me, has anyone ever attacked me before? I told him no, and if they did, they'd be sorry. He then took off his mask that was covering his mouth, and he had big ass scars all around his mouth. I have no idea what they were from, and can't even imagine what they might have been from, but he looked seriously messed up. He smiled at me and his lips were all cracked. I noticed he wasn't about to hand me some money, so I told him I was leaving. I turned around and started walking down the steps, and he screamed at me and slammed the door. This bastard was crazy, and I don't think any of his shit was to be funny. That final scream he gave me was creepy as hell even though I kind of expected him to do something like that. He has called several times since then, and we always just tell him now that he is on our no delivery list. He usually just screams and hangs up, or cusses out whoever is on the phone.